Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next video of this module of Arrays in Java in the course of Java Basics and Fundamentals. In this video, we will talk about the multidimensional array in Java, such as the 2D array. So earlier, we already know what is a 2D array. So now in this video, let us implement it inside the IntelliJ IDE, that is, this is our demo video. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, let me first show you how do we initialize the 2D array. So first, we need to define the data type such as int followed by square brackets open and close. And again, one more square bracket open and close. Space define the reference variable name such as my array equal to curly brackets. And then inside this, let us define our values such as 2, 45, space 6, space 32. And now here it is showing some error. Since this is the integer 2D array, so on the right hand side, we have to define an array in the two dimensional. Now since this equation is equivalent to the 1D array definition like this. So if we have the 2D array on the left hand side, so on the right hand side, again, what we need to do is simply use one more curly bracket open and at the end close. And now here, what we need to do is simply give a comma and then define one more 1D array such as 4, 9 and again define one more 1D array. So let us define the values again. So in short, we can say the 2D array is actually the collection of the 1D array. So this is the 1D array comma 1D array again comma 1D array. Now, as per the coding convention or generally in case of 2D array, we actually format our 2D array in the form of table such as give the tab here and again put the 1D array down the side and this is the last one down the side like this. So this is how we actually represent the 2D array in Java. So these are the three rows and we have four columns. This one, this one, this one and this is the last one. And now let us print something out such as my array dot length. So in our case, what will be the length of our 2D array? Let's check it out. So here it simply prints out three. It is simply printing the number of rows present inside the 2D array. So we have three rows and in the output, we have the array length as three. So always remember in case of 2D array, the length of the array is equivalent to the number of rows present inside the 2D array. And now let us try to print out all these values inside the output console. So for this again, we need to declare our for loop. So for int i equal to zero, i smaller than the length of the array, then i plus plus. Now here, let us print the value such as s out my array and simply give the two index of the row and the column. So the first index, it simply expects the index of the row that you want to print. And the second index, it simply expects the index of the column. Now, since we have the 2D array here, so we have to provide one more for loop. So here, let us define one more for loop, such as int j equal to zero, j smaller than my array index of i dot length. And now simply put this statement inside this for loop. And as an index here, my array, the first index should be of i and second index should be of j. Now this i simply represents the row and this j simply represents the column. So just to avoid confusion, let us refactor this i. So simply press control T and simply rename this variable to r and hit enter. So it will simply refactor and rename all the integer i to integer r everywhere such as here, here, here and so on here. And similarly, let us refactor this variable j. Simply press Ctrl T and rename this to let's say column C. Hit enter. So now it simply avoids the confusion my array, row and column. Fine. So let us now print our code. So here in the output, we get all the contents of the my array. So let us now format our code to give it a look of 2D array in the output console as well. So here, let us use a blank space here 
let us remove this ln part and down the side let us give a new line and now let us print our code so in the output now we get the 2d array here and this 3 is actually the output of this statement my array.len so let us remove it and run it again so here we go this is the 2d array right in front of you so you can match it from here as well so what we have done here is the first outer for loop is for each of the row such as row 0 row 1 and row 2 and the inner for loop is actually iterating through the columns so first row first column zeroth column first column second column and third column right and so on for each of the row and now let us write a program to find the sum of all the numbers we need a integer sum equal to 0 so again let us define our for int i equal to 0 i smaller than equal to my array dot length and then let us provide the nested for loop for each of the columns right such as my array index of i dot length and here let us use sum equal to sum plus my array index of i and index of j and finally at the end out of this loop let us print s out sum is let's say print the sum variable and now let us run our code so here we go the sum is 229 in the output console and at the end let me tell you one thing here, if you hover over the for loop, it simply shows for loop is actually repressible with the for each. So here, what I will do, I will simply press Alt plus Enter in both Mac and Windows. Simply press Alt plus Enter. It will simply show you this option, replace with for each. Simply click on it and here we go. The outer for loop has been replaced by the for each advanced for loop. And for the inner loop again let us press alt enter and replace with for each and here we go the IntelliJ IDE has simply converted the for loop into the advanced for each loop right and now the same thing can be applied for this loops as well so you can do it yourself so as of now let us run our code so here in the output our code is working perfectly fine with the help of advanced for each loop as well and if you want you can again refactor this integer variable name it is looking quite weird and at the end I would like to tell you one more concept of 2d array such as jagged array so in case of 2d array here we can see each of the row is having the four elements four elements here as well and at the end four elements here as well so suppose if I delete this 9 from here and if I add some more integer variables here so this time the structure of the 2d array is not even so here we have four number of elements here we have three and here we have six number of elements so this concept is actually known as the jagged array in java that is the uneven structure of the 2d array but trust me it is also going to work perfectly fine so now let us run our code so here in the output console we have our output in front of you this is the 2d array printed and this is the sum of all the numbers so now i hope you know what is a 2d array and what is a jagged array in java so this was all about the module of arrays in java thank you and have a nice day and at the end please subscribe to this channel and please do leave a comment below this video this is shrakes from smartherd signing off thank you